Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. For today's video, I'll be sharing some tips and advice for incoming interior design students. Some of you requested this type of video and as a freshman, I'll be sharing some of the things that I've learned throughout my first year as an ID student and hopefully these tips will also help you once you start your journey. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Camille. I'm taking up interior design. I'm in my freshman year but technically we're supposed to be done with the first year. But yeah, COVID happened and our classes were cut during the second term last March. And now we're just finishing our second term through online classes. And if you're curious about that, on what it's like to be an interior design student in quarantine, how we do our plates, how we do our online classes, you can watch my previous video. I'll just leave a link up here or here. I'm still not sure where it is, but you can watch that after you watch this video. But if you're wondering why we're still in our first year while other universities already started the next school year for 2020 to 2021, well, here's the tea. It kind of took a while for my school to decide whether or not they're gonna push through on online classes. And we just started doing so last June. So yeah, imagine we were vacant for months while other students were busy doing their online classes. But anyways, I still love PSID. I've had so much fun there. I'm also enrolled in a trimester course. So we started our first year last September and our classes were cut due to COVID last March. So how many months was it? September out. October, November, December, January, February, March. So yeah, six months, half a year. I've only been an interior design student for half a year. I mean like physically being in school for like half a year palang. PSID is amazing, that's all I can say. And moving on, I'm gonna share some tips and advice for you guys who are also aspiring to be an interior designer. <laughs> interior designer. So I listed down the things that I want to share with you guys so I won't forget. So yeah, your girl has some notes with her. So here goes tip number one. Decide whether or not you really want to pursue interior design. This is no joke. It's really challenging and it will get even harder. You should expect your first year as an interior design student to be really challenging. Endless plates, lots of sleepless nights, short amount of time limit when you're doing your actual plate in school. The good thing about PSID is that the profs are really professional. They won't baby you and will give you endless plates, honestly. But it's also an advantage for us because at the end of our whole journey as an ID student, we'll be able to handle our career as professionals. Our first major was Elements and Principles of Design. I honestly loved that subject. I enjoyed all our EPD classes because it's more of my forte. I'm that type of person who likes artsy and crafty things. I like putting stuff together. That's why I really enjoyed that. And during our EPD class, I realized that I have to be creative in my own way because everyone was creative in their own specific way. I really took the time and effort to think of an idea on what to do for my next plate. We had to create a plate and pass it before the class ends. So yeah, there was a time limit. We were given around two to three hours to finish one plate. Same goes for mechanical drawing. Another tip that I will give you is that you should come out of your comfort zone. Try to be creative and unique in your own way because let me just say this. During our first class meeting, we were given a task to come up with a unique way on how to introduce ourselves using name tags. But the name tags, guys, the name tags has to be really unique. So it can be done through presentation, through artsy crafts, or anything that comes to your mind. So once we started introducing ourselves, I was honestly so shocked at everyone who really went out their way just to be creative for their introduction. It was kind of like a competition, but at the same time, it was so fun. So yeah, be sure to give your best when it comes to plates or presentations. Next step is to practice your drawing or painting skills. We're still quarantined and you still have a lot of time to practice and hone your skills when it comes to drawing or painting and even drafting. You also should get inspiration from any sites or even Pinterest to create the mood board. Buy your materials wisely. That is something that I should have known because I kind of went 
a little crazy buying my materials because I was so excited. I'm not gonna show you the materials that I used because I already filmed a video about that. I think it's the what's in my college bag video. Yeah, it's one of my first videos so you guys can just check it out if you wanna watch that. But yeah, going back, I kind of went a little crazy with the materials because I was so excited and I bought like three kneaded erasers. Hindi ko pa nauubos gamitin yung isa, guys. It's because kneaded erasers are for ball pens. It's something that I will use once we start using tech pens. We're gonna start using tech pens once we're in second year, I think. And that's another thing that I bought, tech pens. I also bought oil pastels, which we're still not using. Be wise when it comes to buying your materials. Ask your prof, ask your classmates, your blockmates if it's really necessary for you to buy this at a specific time. So, yeah. But the one thing that I can tell you is that you should stock up on pencils because you're gonna really run out of pencils. As some of you may already know, we don't use a sharpener to sharpen our pencils. We use a cutter to manually sharpen it. Also, don't stock up on kneaded erasers like I said earlier, but instead you should use the normal eraser when it comes to drawing or drafting. Next, if you're gonna buy a drafting board or a drafting table, make sure it's adjustable and it can be elevated because what I have here is just this flat drafting board. When you're doing your plates at home, make sure that you're in a comfortable area because you won't be motivated to finish your plate if everything around you is just so cluttered. So yeah, when I'm doing my plates, I make sure that everything is clean in my room, everything is well organized because it motivates me even more to finish my plate so that I can lay around and do some more other things. Next step is to enjoy the progress. Enjoy the process of it all. Don't be in a rush. I used to question our subjects for our course because I was like, I'm studying interior design. Why am I doing this artsy, crafty thing that's not kind of related to it? But then I realized that it is because learning how to mix match different types of fabrics, different types of colors, even materials as little as beads because we kind of did a plate before in EPD where we had to use beads and I was like why are we doing plates that are beads? We should be doing the drafting part already but yeah I realized it eventually that it's an essential for you to learn the basics of interior design. It's also better if you buy materials that are branded. We're not only buying it for the brand but it's also because of the quality. Don't settle for less when it comes to your plates. Don't think na, ay yan, ko na yan, I'll just pass that. Ay, okay na yan, pwede na yan, basta makapasa. Don't use that kind of mindset. Make sure to give your best when you're doing your plates. Repeat plates if it's possible. The good thing about PSIT is that we can repeat some of our plates. For example, we received our plate, our graded plate, and it was only 98. And if we want to achieve that 100 grade, we can do it again. Repeating our plates are also very helpful because we get to practice and hone our skills. Next advice is to download the app called Blendoku. I'll just insert a picture here and I'll insert the link down below. Our prof in color theory told us to download Blendoku because it's a color pattern related type of app. It's something that you can play and learn at the same time when it comes to different shades, tints, tones of colors. Be sure to also take a break every now and then whenever you're doing your plates, whenever you're studying for an exam. It's really important for us to take care of our mental health. Plates can get really draining because you stay up all night. Next is to prepare your materials whenever you're at home and you have mech draw classes, for example, the next day at school. It will really save you a lot of time because you won't have to sharpen your pencil, you won't have to clean your rulers, you won't have to clean your T-square during class hours. You just have to prepare everything the night before so that once you're at school, you'll just be able to focus on doing your plate. Next is to be organized with your things and your time schedule. Make sure to organize your pencils, your paint brushes, everything should be organized. It's also going to help you stay motivated like I said earlier. And also be sure to organize your time because it's going to help you out a lot. It's also better if you have like a, what do you call that? 
like a, a, a pen board, a cork board. It's better if you have a cork board so you can lay out your plans for the week, the plates that you need to pass, and what time you need to be on school on that specific day. Okay, next, don't be afraid to ask help from your professors, from your friends, from your blockmates. Because you can't really do everything by yourself. You also need to ask help sometimes. But at the same time, as you go on your journey as an interior design student, you should also learn how to do things on your own. I'm not saying that this is a competition, but just keep in mind that one day you're all gonna be interior designers, you're all gonna graduate, practice how to be independent. You should also, of course, protect your own interests. Don't be late on class whenever you have a major subject. I'm not saying that you can be late on minor subjects, but you know what I mean. You should always be on time for major classes. Well, I used to be always late for mechanical drawing. There were multiple times that I wasn't able to catch up on the demo of our professor, which sucks because I have to learn things. I have to learn where to put this furniture. I have to learn what measurements we have to use or stuff like that on my own. So don't be late, okay guys? This is kind of TMI, but it's something that I need to share with you guys. You have to take a shower or take a bath before you start doing your plates at home. Because doing your plates will take you at least 5 hours or more if you do things slowly like me. But yeah, this is something that my mom taught me. I shouldn't wash my hands or wash my face. After I finish doing a plate, I should first rest and then take a shower after a few hours. Because if I wash my hands, mapapasma siya. I don't know what's the English for pasma, but it's unhealthy coldness that enters the body. I'm not sure if that makes sense at all, but you Filipinos get what I mean, right? But yeah, that's the last tip that I have on my little post-it notes. But I just want to add something really quickly. Make the most out of your journey as an interior design student because one day you're gonna look back on all the memories you created with your friends and it's really amazing how you can grow as a person with people that helps you to stay focused on your goal. So yeah, be sure to give out your best when it comes to your plates, when it comes to presentations because you, you want to finish your course strong. So yeah, that's just everything that I learned throughout my first year as an interior design student. Hopefully, we'll be able to get back on school soon. But at the meantime, I'm still enjoying my online classes and just focusing on my craft. I hope you guys enjoyed and got some really helpful tips. If you enjoy this type of videos, be sure to like, comment down below, and also subscribe. You can also connect with me on my social media accounts that I will leave the link down below in the description box. I hope to see you on my next video. Bye!